Hello, a short video this time just to show you how easy it is to load up some new font icon sets into Beaver Builder. Now this topic has been covered well already. There's a blog post article under the Beaver Builder blog and there's also a knowledge base article and both of these cover this well and the links will be below this video but maybe you're a bit like me and like to see someone walking through the steps. So that's what I'm going to do here. So the first thing that we'll need to do is to go to our back end into our dashboard go to settings find our page builder settings and when that's loaded we'll need to go to the icons tab and here we'll see that we have three libraries that are already installed and we can disable these if we choose if you're a beaver builder theme user you might as well leave font awesome ticked because that's already part of the theme so there's no benefit to turning that one off and here's the thing with this what you may not be aware of is that if you're picking icons from multiple font sets on a single page, you will be increasing your page load. So generally it's a good practice to try and contain it to the same set. But here with loading in our own library, which can also contain ones from other sets, we can actually reduce that page load. So this is one of the advantages of doing this. And Beaver Builder make this really easy because we've got two links to different sort of font libraries. So we'll go to the first one, which is Ico Moon. And once we've clicked on that, it opens up a new tab and we'll load up our page. And there's quite a lot you can do here, which I haven't explored. You can actually make up your own font icons, but here we're just gonna go through the simple stuff and we need to go over to this button over here to the Icon Moon app. And when this loads up, it should be blank for me, but you may find that you've already got a library loaded already. So it's just that I've been in here just earlier. So what we'll do, we'll need to load in one of the libraries. As you can see here, we get a lot of choice. And there's some premium stuff at the bottom here and some individual ones we can purchase here, but there's a, a great deal of free stuff here. So I'm just going to pick two libraries for the moment because I can just to show that I can combine them. So I'm going to take this one by elegant themes and I'm going to add another one. I'll just take this one. It doesn't really matter. These are probably not combinations that I would join together, but let's just do it for this. So I'm going to select here. So we just click on the ones that we want. I'm only going to select three from here and select three from this one. And the next thing is to go over to this generate font. And what's going to happen next is that we get this download button. But there's one more step that we have to do with this one just to see that we don't have a conflict with Beaver Builder and the naming. So we need to go over to our preferences here and we need to make sure that we've changed this class prefix so it's not icon here so all i'm going to do here is just put dw dash and that's going to make it unique and just so this shows us my title i'm going to change this to something else dw just to show you that that works now we can download this and download this to my desktop we can head back to our icons over here and we've got an upload icon set and all I'll need to do is to go and select some files this to my desktop, load this up, load this into WordPress. Okay, we've selected that file. And now this should refresh and we will have the font set there. There we are. And we can easily just delete that if we don't want it. And it's changed the name there uh, as I wanted. So let's just go over to our page here and I'll do a refresh just to make sure. And then we'll go into the page builder and I can show you that this is, has indeed loaded. So I'm using an icon group module here. I'm gonna click on that and I can just go and change this for any one of our new set here and do exactly the same thing, you know, color them and add a background as I would do with normal fonts there. So that's that one done. Let's just go back and do the second one. So we'll go over to Fontello this time and let those load up. Now we get all of their libraries here to load from, but it's the same thing. We can just pick and choose which ones we want. So I'm gonna just do another random thing. Actually, I'm not gonna pick them from various ones. Let's have a look. Something that I often want is, if I can find it here, I know they've got them. One of these have got some payment cards. Ah, there we are. Let's go for that one. So we'll select these payment cards. So it shows me that I've got 
4 to download here and I'm just going to leave the naming as it is here so I can't change the title on this one I don't think so that's done let's go back to our builder let's go and upload this font set this time and upload the files let's go and select our file okay and once that's loaded I can select this and I can go back and delete these two if I don't want them once they're loaded in that's fine we can actually remove them from the media library and we can also delete this one it's given this a, a date and let's go back over to our home page I'm going to do a refresh just to make sure that it's going to show through and we'll take another icon here and replace this one and there we are there's our let's go for visa here and load this in and there we are it's that easy so if you like this video then please give me a like and if you've got any suggestions for what else i could cover then please give me a comment below talk to you soon Bye bye